Okay, webinar's begun, recording's begun, and our first attendees split in. Here they come. All right. All right, get out. All right, do you want me to start the? Yes. PowerPoint? All right. Yes. Are you able to see it? Yes. yes. All right. What time would you like me to begin? Maybe give it, I say maybe two minutes, three minutes. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. We're really happy that you're here with us. We're just waiting a few minutes before we start the presentation. Buenas tardes a todos. Estamos muy contentos de que estén aquí. Y vamos a esperar algunos minutos para comenzar la presentación. Go ahead, Lee. Welcome to our first digital parent workshop. Today we're going to review supporting your child's learning at home, how to navigate the instructional packets, and we're going to give you some support with digital learning. We're going to talk about how to log into a Chromebook, logging into class link, logging into Google Classroom, and completing assignments in Google Classroom. Bienvenidos al taller de padres. Estamos muy contentos de estar aquí con ustedes y los vamos a ayudar a cómo ayudar a su hijo en la casa, cómo navegar el, los paquetes académicos y cómo ayudarlos a que ustedes sepan cómo um, usar el Chromebook, uh, Classlink, Google Classroom y los, de, las diferentes tareas que los maestros uh, Monday. We want to explain who we are so that you know why we're presenting today. Um, we have Jessica Bowen. She's the instructional sorry, support sorry, teacher. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, my name so is Lynn Crusen. I'm, I'm Lynn Crusen. I'm the instructional support teacher at Whitehall and Paul Fly Elementary Schools. Dana Domenico, IST at Gottwalls and Whitehall Elementary Schools. And I'm Mary Ellen Lonsdale from Cole Manor and Musselman Learning Center. And I hope you'll join me for our June parent workshop next month about summer learning activities. Also joining us today will be Mrs. Brianna Angelucci. She is the elementary curriculum supervisor. Did you want to translate, Ms. Fernandez? No, I think that they, no. Okay. Okay. Um, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Zoom presentation format. This is a Zoom webinar and it is our first experience having a workshop using this format. So do try and be patient with us. And as an attendee, when you come here, you're going to be able to listen to everything that we say and you'll be able to see our presentation on the screen as well as our pictures. However, we will not be able to see or hear you until we ask questions, ask for questions. When we're finished with our presentation, you can click on the hand that says raise hand to let us know that you have a question. We will answer your questions in the order that they come. If you can't, if we can't answer a question, we're going to direct you to someone who is able to answer it for you. Um, esta es la primera vez que estamos haciendo este, este formato en el distrito. So, le pedimos su paciencia y también, por favor, esperen de hacer sus preguntas al final de la presentación y nosotros les responderemos. Queremos uh, tener la presentación primero y después oír sus comentarios o preguntas que todavía tienen. Gracias. Um. 
Okay, the first thing we'd like to talk about is just some um, refreshers and reminders of how to support your child's learning at home. Um, we just want to recognize and uh, share in the feeling that this is a whole new world for us. Um, you know, you as a, parent, as a parent are trying to be supportive and guide your child's learning at home. The teachers are working so hard to stay connected and teach your child virtually. We just want to remind everyone that, that, we, are, that we are in this together. Um, that we're working hard on all ends to support our children. Um, we know you've been at home doing school for about a month now, but we would like to share some tips just for you to help your child be successful at home. Le agradecemos todo el apoyo que nos han dado a nosotros y a la maestra. Sabemos que ustedes está, está, han estado trabajando con sus niños por lo menos por un mes, pero quiero que sepan que estamos en este todos juntos y aquí estamos todos para aprender. Pero esto es algo que se va a quedar porque no sabemos el que, que nos traerá el futuro. One thing that could be helpful is to make a schedule. Um, many teachers have provided guidelines on Google Classroom for how much work should be given per day and how the school week should look for your child at home. Following this is not always possible, but it is a guide for your family, so we, help, we hope that it's helpful. Um, it is important to create some structure around the day for your child. Sitting down to discuss this with them is a great way to start. Um, thinking about how much work your child has each week, when they will do it, helping them create a schedule that works for you and your family. This will look different in each and every home. We know this can be especially difficult when you have more than one child and possibly only one device that you are all sharing but there are many options. Um, your child's teacher, guidance counselor, the ISTs that are here in this webinar right now, we are always here to help you. Es, es muy importante que, creemos, que creamos un horario como similar al de la escuela con nuestros niños. Sabemos que a veces tenemos muchos niños en la casa haciendo diferentes trabajos, por eso es muy importante crear un, un horario con ellos y hablar con ellos de cómo se, se hace ese horario y tener parte en el horario donde haya diversión, trabajo, lectura y todas las clases que necesitan ellos tomar. Designating a place to work is another thing that can be very helpful. Um, it's helpful to create a space or place in your home where your child can work each day. It could be the kitchen table, it can be their bedroom, wherever they may be, may be able to find a space. But maintaining some consistency with this and having an area that is conducive to learning is beneficial. Um, it's also a good idea to maybe have their materials readily available, like pencils, paper, the device or computer they're using in this area. Um, again, we do realize that every home is different and this can be a challenge, but if it's possible, it is a good way to structure the learning at home. Es importante que los niños también tengan un espacio en donde trabajar en la casa. Puede ser en el cuarto de ellos, en la cocina, en una mesita, donde puedan ustedes localizar un espacio para los niños para que ellos sepan que ahí es donde tienen que hacer el trabajo de la escuela. We also just want to remind you and support you to stay emotionally and physically healthy. We have been living a new normal for quite some time, but here are some important things to remember. Uh, try to keep the communication um, with your child open, talk to them, check in with them, see how they're doing, make sure they're doing their work, follow up with them a little bit, even just daily checking in with them with how they're doing with this whole new situation, this whole new way of learning. Um, just you and your family, remember to try to take walks, get outside, or just do things your family enjoys together. Um, it is important to have some downtime and some time where we can all appreciate one another's company. We're all in different situations, dealing with this in different ways. We're all doing the best we can. Um, if you need anything, please reach out. Es, queremos que también se mantengan mentalmente y físicamente saludables. So, es importante de que hablen con sus niños, hagan caminatas, salgan con sus niños uh, alrededor del, del, de la cuadra si pueden, hablen con ellos uh, y hagan cosas en las que ustedes puedan disfrutar con sus niños. 
si necesitan algún tipo de ayuda, por favor, um, hablen a los maestros y aquí a nosotros porque estamos todos aquí para ayudarles. Gracias. Please try to stay in touch with us weekly. It is so important to maintain communication be between home and school more than ever right now. We need to hear from you each week, even if it is a quick response to talking points or class dojo, email, phone calls still work too. If we don't hear from you, we just want to let you know that you will hear from us and it is because we care about you and your family. Esto es muy importante. Acuérdense de que todas las semanas vamos a chequear en sus hijos y en ustedes. So, si los maestros están tratando de escribirles a través del Class Dojo o de Talking Points, uh, por favor, estén de seguro de uh, mandar un mensaje, aunque sea sí, no, algo, porque estamos, queremos que todos ustedes estén bien y que también que sus niños estén bien. So just one more reminder, please reach out. There are so many resources and people to support you. Your child's guidance counselor, teacher, principal, lead teacher, instructional support teachers are all people can help you in a time of need. Whether you need help with navigating the academics, giving you emotional support or other resources, food, utilities, internet, we are available for you. There are many resources available and we just want to remind you that we are here. Este, estoy repitiendo un poco lo que se habló anteriormente. Si necesita ayuda, por favor, déjenos saber. Este, tenemos la consejera de la escuela, los maestros principales, eh, mucha gente en la escuela que estará aquí para ayudarlos. We want you to be sure that you understand the technology, the packets, and the expectations. Um, we are to instruct your kids with new material. So the first option is that your child is expected to participate in online learning that their teacher has designed for them. Uh, the teachers are posting videos and assignments. However, if that's not possible, your child can participate by completing the packets that have been created and distributed. It's important that you understand how to use the Chromebook if you have it, or other devices in your home, how to log into ClassLink and Google Classroom. If you don't have online ac access, we want you to understand the packet structure, the pacing, and how to complete them. Es muy importante que los niños que no tienen acceso a tecnología, o si usted no tiene acceso a tecnología, uh, se comple se, se, los niños pueden com eh, terminar los paquetes académicos. So, por eso se, se le da esa variedad de instrucciones a los niños. Uno es el paquete académico y el otro es el Google Classroom. The instructional packets were created to help your child keep up with the pace and the activities, skills, and concepts that the teachers are working on in Google Classroom. The district has provided these in a paper packet form for those of you that are not able to have a Chromebook or to work using the internet. Skills and concepts. The packets include reading, math, science, enrichment, and in the last distribution that will happen on May 27th, special area activities will be included. That will include art, music, library, and gym. The packets are a support as an alternative. They are designed for any parents or families who are unable to participate in the digital, digital learning or would like additional work for your child. Um, los paquetes académicos es similar a lo que los maestros están haciendo en el, en el Google Classroom. So, tienen los mismos conceptos y habilidades de lectura, matemáticas, ciencia y, um, y es, para el próximo paquete se van a incluir las áreas especiales. También... Uh, Como les dijimos anteriormente, estos paquetes académicos son para aquellas personas que no tienen acceso a la tecnología. 
Uh, por ejemplo, mañana se va a dar distribución de comida, pero no de paquete. La próxima distribución de paquetes será en mayo 27. How to approach the packets. The packets are long. They are to take the place of all the instruction that is happening in Google Classroom. The skills and concepts are the same as those that are included in the Google Classroom. The last two packets, the one that was just received and the one from May 27th, include three weeks worth of work. They are separated into weekly sections to help you pace your child. So for example, you might wish to complete two to three sheets in the packet per day in the order that they appear. But your child could also do some reading and some math each day instead. It is really how it is best for you or your child so that they understand the new concepts that are learning, they are learning in the Google Classroom. If you need more guidance, please contact your building instructional support teacher or the classroom teacher. We are here to help. Los paquetes no se asustan con los paquetes porque son bien grandes, pero no quiere decir que los niños tienen que completarlos todos en un día. Los paquetes académicos es alrededor de tres semanas. So, los niños los deben completar por lo menos uh, al final de la tercera semana. Este, cada, están separados por secciones. So, es semanalmente. Ahora, los niños no necesitan hacer todo el paquete a un tiempo. Con lo que hagan dos o tres páginas a día sería suficiente pero usted seguro que haga las partes de matemáticas y lectura. De esa manera, el niño siente que está como en el salón de clase. Si todavía necesita más ayuda para contestar estos paquetes académicos, esté seguro de comunicarse con el maestro de la clase. Ok, now we are going to watch a video on how to log into the Chromebook, Classlink, and Google Classroom. Um, I'll I will be stopping the video periodically so that we can make some time for translations. Uh, si ustedes ven en esta presentación, uh, hay un video en inglés en español, pero ella solo va a presentar el video en inglés y pararlo poco a poco para yo poder traducir a medida que vemos el video. Pero después ustedes van a tener acceso al video en español. Okay, let me just switch it over here. All right, are we seeing my screen, ladies? Yes. Okay. Okay, once you get onto your Chromebook, this is the first screen you're going to see. You need to make sure you click on sign in with a different account when you see this spot. So, si ustedes ven, en la imagen aquí se ve lo que ustedes van a ver cuando ustedes entran al Chromebook. So, lo primero que tienen que hacer es uh, donde dice para... Oh my God, I forgot how to say it. Sign in. When you, you see sign in, este, tiene que darle ahí para la diferente... Uh, para poder entrar al Chromebook. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Don't click on next here. Click on sign in. Okay, once you do that, this is where you enter your email. So it could ha it's going to have two letters and six numbers. Then you click next. So aquí es donde el niño entra y es el niño, es no su, el email de usted, es el del niño, y aquí el niño entra el email, uh, y como usted ve ahí, es la, la, usualmente la primera letra del, del nombre del niño y el apellido con unos números. Y después tiene que darle donde dice uh, next. So this is what it will look like. So, esto, esto es de la manera que va a mirar. So, cuando, pero acuérdense de nuevo que tiene que ser el email del niño. 
Now you, it will say your name, hi, and whoever you are. Now you put in your password and click on next. So, si usted ve en, la, en esta pantalla, se ve ya el nombre del niño, so después puede este, darle otra vez en, en el cuadrado azul y va a pasar a la siguiente página. Now, you might see a screen like this with that little dinosaur. Don't worry. No internet means you just need to get connected to the Wi-Fi. Si usted ve una pantalla que parece similar a esta, no se preocupe, porque lo que tiene que hacer es conectar el Chromebook a, al, al Internet. That's where you go down at the bottom and click on the Wi-Fi signal, and it will say not connected. And then you have to connect to your Wi-Fi and put in your Wi-Fi password. So, en, el, en la computadora o en el Chromebook, tienen que conectar, tienen que ir abajo de la pantalla y ver dónde se conecta con el Internet. Y de, después os, usted le tiene que poner las señales que tiene que ver con, uh, con su propio Internet. Once you're connected, you're going to see sign into class link. Click where it says sign in with Google. Después va a ver esta pantalla. Hemos hablado mucho de class link. So después que usted vea esta pantalla, tiene que poner, si usted ve, hay cuatro rectángulos. Tiene que marcar al último rectángulo. Donde dice... Eh, Then it will look like this for a second or two. Then you will see this screen. Take a look at arrow number one. That's pointing to the Google Classroom icon. That's where you'll click when you want to go in your Google Classroom. Take a look at... So, aquí es la pantalla. Después que todos los niños han, han podido poner su email y finalmente llegar al class link, vea esta pantalla. El primero tiene que ver con el Google Classroom. So, si ve, parece un hombrecito una, con, como en un salón de clases. Arrow number two. That says McGraw Hill. That's where you can go when your teachers give you assignments from our My Math program or from our reading program, which is called Wonders. Si usted ve en el arro número dos, es una aplicación que es roja y ahí es donde va a encontrar los programas de lectura y matemática del distrito. So now I'm going to show you how to get into Google Classroom. So you're going to click right here where it says Google Classroom. Entonces ahora. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Ahora van a entrar al, al salón de Google. And now you're in. When you get in, you might see that you are already joined to other classes but you might need to join one. So you go up to the top right corner where you see a plus sign and click on that. So, aquí ven eh, los salones que su niño van a estar inscrito y cuando vean ese salón, marcan ahí donde vean la maestra. When you click on the plus sign, a square will show up like this and you put in the class code that your teacher has sent and then you click on join. What? Esta manera para poderse inscribir en el salón de Google, también de, a los maestros le pueden, hay dos maneras de inscribirse. Una de la manera que les dije anteriormente y otra manera que la maestra le puede mandar ¿Cuál es el, el código para el salón de la maestra? Okay, so that was the first video that we were going to show, just to kind of go over the basics of how to log in. 
And as I said in the beginning, we're going to give you an opportunity to ask any questions regarding that at the end of this presentation. Now we are going to look at how to actually turn in assignments um, in Google Classroom. So just give me one minute so that I can grab that video. So lo que vimos ahorita era cómo entrar al Google Classroom, al, al Google, al salón de Google usando ClassLink. Ahora ella le va a enseñar cómo actually los niños tienen que regresar las tareas a los maestros cuando están en el, en el salón de Google. Okay. Hello, today we're going to go over how to complete assignments in Google Classroom and how to turn them in. First thing is, when you log into your Google Classroom, you are brought to what is called the stream. The stream can become very overwhelming, and so I suggest going to Classwork to find the assignment. Si usted ve en la pantalla superior, hay dos, well, hay tres diferentes títulos en la pantalla superior. Uno que es el donde se pone información, el otro se llama Classwork, que es el donde los estudiantes pueden ver el trabajo que necesitan hacer, y el último es las personas. Ese no lo tienen que ver, uh, no necesitan ver eso. So, el más importante es donde dice el trabajo de los niños que tienen que hacer. We will go over a few different types of assignments and how to complete each of them. So, each classroom is organized in different ways. Some are organized by subject, some are organized by week. When you go to the assignment, the due dates are over here on the right. When you go to the assignment, you can... So, si usted debe, en la parte superior, aparecen cuando las tareas necesitan ser entregadas a los maestros. Por ejemplo, en este que ella abrió, eh, la, este, este, esta tarea necesita ser entregada mayo 2. Uh, Después usted puede abrir esa, la, la tarea que los estudiantes necesitan hacer. Si quieren ver el, pueden hacer dos, de dos maneras, pueden entrar ahí. Uno, como le dije, si ven la, la, la foto, pueden hacer clic en la foto y la actividad va a aparecer en la pantalla. O hay una letra pequeña que dice, miren la asignación y pueden también a, a presionar ahí y la asignación, van a ver la asignación completa. Here, you have the direction, which is to watch this video, and then your work over here. When I click over here to begin my work, it will bring up the Google slide for me to complete. So, si ustedes ven, tienen, los estudiantes tienen que ver cuál es el trabajo que ellos tienen que realizar y usualmente se encuentra en la mano derecha, en la parte superior de la pantalla. So for this one we're working on consonant vowel consonant. I can add a text box, which is this little box up here with the T, and then type in my response. That is one way of doing it. Other ways that might ask you to circle things, you can add in shapes. So I could add in a circle here to go over the E in each word. So there's different ways of putting in your answers. Hay diferentes maneras, y eso depende del, de la, del trabajo que los estudiantes necesiten hacer de contestar um, las respuestas, de poder poner las respuestas al trabajo que los maestros están pidiendo. So, si usted ve en la, en, en la parte superior de la pantalla, a veces ellos necesitan poner un círculo o a veces necesitan escribir algo. Dependen de, dependen de la asignación de la maestra. When you are done, 
cuando el trabajo está completado. Cuando el trabajo está completado, si ustedes ven en, la, en el lado derecho de la pantalla, hay un rectángulo azul y ahí los niños tienen que presionar y estar seguro que se lo regresan a la, a la maestra. And just to clarify one thing, um, some students have had some difficulty in that they've watched the lesson video and instead of going up here to your work, they just click turn in. So they're actually turning in a blank assignment. So they need to make sure to go into the assignment and then click turn in. Muchos de los estudiantes lo que están haciendo es viendo el video, pero se les olvida hacer el trabajo. So es muy importante que no solo miren el video, pero también vayan a la parte de la pantalla del lado derecho, vean qué es el trabajo que tienen que hacer donde dice tu trabajo y de ahí regresárselo a la maestra. You will click turn in. Well, I ask you to turn to your work. This way, this is now letting the teacher know that you have completed the assignment and that it's ready to be looked at. Y como les dije anteriormente, ahí tienen que eh, presionar para que estén seguros de regresar el trabajo a la maestra. Another type of an assignment is you are questions that might be embedded right into the assignment when you click on it. So if you see here with the little question mark, that's telling you that there's a question that the teacher wants to answer. So this is what are examples of digraphs. So first, these directions tell me to watch the video, so I would watch the video and then answer the question. So here's the question, and then below are the answers. So I would click what I think the answer is, and then again, I'm going to click the... Esta es una manera diferente de que los maestros pueden asignar el trabajo a los niños. Si ve, esto como un como un examen. Entonces lo, los niños pueden ver el video y después responder a las preguntas que están uh, debajo del video. The blue turn in. Submit answer. Ms. Fernandez? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I already translated. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. My apologies, my, thank you. You can click on the PDF directly or I can go to view assignment to see all the instructions. When I click on the PDF, it will bring up this. Now, if you have tools, some people have tools where they are able to write directly on the PDF, that is one option. The other option is that you can comment, privately comment to the teacher the answers to the PDF and then click turn in. Ah, no, otra manera que los maestros pueden también asignar el trabajo de los clientes. Y por supuesto, ustedes no pueden modificar esa hoja. Ellos pueden poner comentarios. Si ustedes ven en la parte derecha, en la parte de abajo, hay comentarios privados. Y el niño puede eh, escribir la respuesta de esa hoja a, lo, a la maestra ahí, donde dice comentarios privados. This is also an area where uh, teachers may provide feedback to students. So after your child completes an assignment, Um, it is highly suggested to go back into the assignment and you can look under private comments to see if the teacher uh, wrote any uh, feedback regarding the assignment. Esta es una manera que las maestras también están hablando con los estudiantes a ver si están haciendo el trabajo bien o no. 
Uh, los estudiantes pueden poner en este comentario, no entiendo el trabajo, o sí entiendo el trabajo, o esta es mi respuesta. Y las maestras les van a responder a los comentarios de los estudiantes. So if I were to look at this and look at number one, I could write the answers right here in the comments. I could also take a picture and then send that picture to my teacher via email or dojo or other means of communication. Por ejemplo, si ustedes ven un, este tipo de actividad que los niños no pueden uh, responder, que es a través del papel, ellos pueden hacerlo en un papel o en un cuaderno en la casa y tomar una foto y mandársela a la maestra. O como le dijimos anteriormente, en donde dice los comentarios privados, ahí ellos pueden poner la respuesta. Once you're done that, you're going to make sure to turn it in. Y después que hacen eso, tengan seguro que los estudiantes completan el, este rectángulo azul y que se lo regresan a los maestros. But turn it again. I'm going to go back to my class because there's still two more types of assignments that I can do. If I look at this one again, so again, it's telling me that I'm going to watch this video on time and then I'm going to have this Google form. I can click it right here or I can go to a view assignment just like I did before. So, si ustedes ven esta asignación, es un poquito diferente otra vez. So, está la asignación de matemática, pero al lado de la asignación hay una forma que se llama Google. So, los niños pueden... Uh, tocar esa asignación donde dice forma uh, de Google. If I click it right here, it will bring the form open. Again, it will collect your email address. Most of the forms will ask you to write your name, so you will write your name. And then answer the question. Once you're done with Muchas de estas formas les pide escribir el nombre, por supuesto, del estudiante y después responder a la pregunta. Es como eh, de manera de un examen. Um, something else to be aware, uh, if your child is completing forms, after they complete it and the teacher has gone in, the teacher may write feedback right on the form. So if the student goes back to the form just like they went in to complete it, they can then see any comments that the teacher may have left for them. So, después que los niños submiten esta forma, los maestros también le pueden dar, uh, re responden a los niños de cómo, si el trabajo está bien hecho o no bien hecho. And it's automatically sent to your teacher. Y la forma es automáticamente mandada al maestro, después que ellas la, la completan. And if I want to double check, I can do assignment. And then down here, or on the right, it says mark as done, and I can mark as done. Ok, continue, continue. The last type of assignment is what we call a Google Doc. So again, it's telling me to watch this video lesson on the solar system. I want to view the assignment as a total or as a whole. I can open it up. Right here again is where my work is. It'll open up, including my name in the title. So, la, la última asignación que usted puede ver en, el, en el, la clase del niño es también una forma, otra forma diferente de Google, donde los niños pueden escribir en esa forma. I will complete the assignment. Los niños van a escribir como si estuvieran escribiendo en la, compu en la computadora. Once I've completed the assignment, you will see a turn in right here. I can turn it in here. 
go ahead. Quick turn in. It will bring me back to my assignment details. So, again to turn in. como siempre es muy importante que los niños, este, si usted ve en la parte de abajo, siempre tienen que regresar las tareas a los maestros. Porque si sus niños solo están viendo el video o no están regresando las tareas a los maestros, los maestros no saben si ellos están trabajando. I also could have gone back to my Google Classroom where it says your work, just like I had before, and click turn in. Okay. Something, again, just to reiterate, um, so the directions up here tell the students to watch the video. They must go to your work and complete this work. Um, we have students that are clicking submit, but not actually opening up the document. So just make sure that you're completing whatever work is up here in this right hand corner. Um, again, otra vez, si ustedes ven, no solo los estudiantes en esta asignación, no solo los estudiantes tienen que ver el video, pero también tienen que ir a donde dice el trabajo del estudiante. Muchos de los estudiantes están solo uh, poniendo de que ellos terminaron la asignación, pero no están completando el trabajo. Another thing that teachers are saying is that the students, your child, may not be watching the video and may go right to the assignment. So they should watch the video first and then do the assignment. De las otras cosas que los maestros están viendo, que algunos niños quieren terminarlo rápido, hacerle el trabajo rápido, y van donde dice mi trabajo, pero no están mirando el video. Y el video es lo que los va a ayudar a completar el, las tareas. If I go back now to my Google Classroom, you will see that my assignments are now grade, which tells me that I've completed that assignment. It will also tell me right here in the right hand corner, turned in. So, si ustedes ven, en, si van de regreso para donde dice el salón de Google, donde dice el trabajo, la, el trabajo de la clase, el color cambia. So, si los niños completaron el trabajo, el color va a ser gris. Y, also, también, y también pueden ver este, cuando sus niños regresaron el trabajo a los maestros. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Fernandez, for that translation. Um, and that concludes the videos, which now opens up our Q&A portion of the workshop. Ahora yo vi uh, varias personas levantar la mano, so ahora it's time for question. I saw different parents, they raised their hands, so please. Okay. So Lynn, I don't see a hand, do you? Yes, I do. Um, okay. Sierra Fry Riley, I believe you now have the floor. Can you hear me? Yes, hello. Hi. Um, I'm Josiah Cresswell Cross's mom, second grade Hancock. I did notice that um, there was a COVID daily schedule. I was wondering if there is a link that could be provided for parents, even though um, it might not be like the exact schedule, but um, I didn't really see it clearly in the video. So I was wondering if it was possible that I could have a link sent to my email for the schedule. That's an excellent question. Um, Teachers are giving out suggested schedules. However, they're not determining exact schedules because it's based on your household um, and uh, the availability of you and your child. I think she just wants to see one that was on the screen earlier, maybe as an example. Um, it's, it's not a real one. It's just a funny oh, okay. little example of one. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we, we couldn't find a picture of a real one that would fit into that small section. So um, that might be something that you can ask your child's teacher because they would have absolutely more knowledge of how much they are assigning and when it would be best for you or your child to complete the assignments. But again, it would just be a guide of a schedule. 
Well, Jessica, you are a, a Hancock, no? So you can yes. this parent. Well, I was yeah. going to say that I could absolutely follow up with you and we could set something up and kind of work on, you know, what works for you at home and look at what, you know, your child has. And I would be happy to do that. Okay, thank you. Who was your, your child again? Josiah Cresswell Cross. He's in Mrs. Kim Raj's class. Okay. I will send you a dojo message and we can set something up. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for your question. Um, okay. I don't see anything, Jess. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm moving. Mrs. Yeah. John. You have the floor. I think you're on uh, mute, Mrs. Dunn. In the lower left-hand corner, you should have a mute button. Are you still there? All right. If you want to try again, I'll try to, um, the, I'm going to bring the next person in, Mrs. Dunn, and then if you want to try again, we'll try to get you, you working. All right, did somebody? Okay. Um, Agnes Stokes. She's also muted. Can I unmute people? They okay come in unplugged? muted and they can unmute themselves. Yeah. Yeah, you can unmute them. Um, oh, now she's unmuted. There she goes. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Um, my name's Agnes Stokes, and um, I'm Zayana Abdullah's great grandmother. I live out of state. How can I get copies of the? Um, assignments. I don't feel comfortable using the internet because I have such a lousy um, connection. Mm -hmm. So how would I go about that? Which school is your great grandchild oh, in? I'm sorry, she's in Marshall, Marshall Street. And what grade? A kindergarten. Okay, and her name is Diana? Mm-hmm. Z-Y-I-H-A-N-N-A. Z-Y-I-H-A-N-N-A. Uh-huh. Okay. I can contact the instructional support teacher from Marshall Street School, and we can have that sent to you. Um, however, is there a way that you could get us your address? Yes. Do you want me to give it to you? I, not right now with yeah. all the people. Maybe your phone number and uh, the instructional support teacher can call you back. Perfect. Okay. All right. It's 484-886-9400. Uh, mm -hmm. 484-886-9410. Yes. Okay. We will have someone reach out to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right, Doreen Schmidt. Doreen, you're muted. There you go. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, my son attends Whitehall Elementary, fourth grade. And I just have a quick question about the format for daily work. It seems that teachers are going on perhaps, I guess, Sunday night or early Monday and posting the assignments for the week. My yeah. question is, there, don't, there does not seem to be work for each day of the week. Um, let me uh, specify. So if I pulled up the one week for math, um, I didn't see like five different assignments. Maybe I saw like three or something like that. Correct. So 
I'm trying to figure out how to keep him occupied each day. Uh, we have provided resources such as First in Math, Moby Max, and things that he can continue to do on his own as well as read. Okay. Uh, are you Liam's mom? Yes. Yes. Um, so there's plenty that he can do. He does not have to do it all on Monday. That's why we were talking about a possible schedule where you could spread out his assignments. Right. That's what I've been trying to do. So if the teach, if I log in and the teacher has five assignments, then I just give him one per day in that subject. Excellent. But if like when we logged into science, there were only three assignments, I would do you know, one each day, but then for the next two days, I didn't know what to have them do as far as science. Like I'm trying, we, we do the schooling every morning um, while the teachers are online and accessible. So I'm just trying to figure out what I can do for science and for some of the other subjects. Um, may I recommend for science, maybe a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Okay. That way he can um, take a science break on Tuesday and Thursday. We're providing not as many resources as if the kids were in school because it is taking them longer to complete the assignments since it's all online. Okay. And a lot of students and parents are still having difficulty with logging in and how to navigate, which is why we're actually having this workshop. So we are not providing every day. We are providing enough work where they are learning new content and practicing, but not to the point where it becomes something that they need to do all of the time. We also have uh, kids at home that are sharing Chromebooks with older siblings. So it is, we're trying to provide as much as we can with not overwhelming families. Great, thank you. You're welcome. Um, all right, Anna Pineda, oh, oh, okay, Anya Pineda. Señora Anna Pineda. She's muted. Quiere hablar? Right. Hello. Aló, buenas Hola. tardes, señora. Sí, me escucha. Sí. Sí, este, mi comentario era acerca de mi niño, porque mi niño está en Hancock, está en segundo grado, y este, pues, ahorita he tenido problemas con él porque, como es autista, él no quiere estar frente a una computadora, se pone a llorar, eh, grita. Entonces, no sé qué recomendación me podrían dar ellos, aparte de si me podían dar un trabajo extra o algo para poder yo darle aquí al niño en la casa. Se le mandaron trabajos, de, no le llegó un paquete académico por el distrito. Sí, sí, eh, la primera vez empecé a usar el paquete, pero se me hizo un poco difícil porque como yo no hablo muy bien el inglés, no le puedo repetir las palabras al niño en inglés. Entonces empecé a usar en la computadora, pero en la computadora lo estoy ahorita teniendo problemas porque él llora mucho. O no quiere estar frente a una computadora. Incluso computadora. Está... ¿Cuál es el nombre de su niño? Owen Mendoza. Owen Mendoza. Owen Mendoza. Uh, Jessica, can you write that name and then we will talk to mom later? Yeah. What was the name again? Owen. Owen Mendoza. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sí, señora. Yo voy a estar seguro que alguien la llame del colegio para ver qué se puede hacer. Bien, gracias. Muchas gracias. Um, all right. Uh, Luvisela Rojas. I hope I'm pronouncing that somewhat correctly. Uh, buenas tardes, señora Rojas. Este, ¿Puede hablar? Un momento. ¿Sí, ¿Sí me escucha? Sí, la escucho, señor. ¿Cómo está? Oh, muy buenas tardes. Eh, disculpe, no, nada más tenía una, ten, tenía una sugerencia para ustedes. Eh, ¿No podrían dar como clases digitales para los niños en vivo o algo así? Porque se nos está haciendo mucho problema estarle como ayudando al niño con las tareas, porque muchas veces nosotros ni entendemos lo que se trata en las clases. 
Sí, señor. Sí. Lo que pasa como Etsy. Eso es una muy buena idea y lo voy a... Lo que quiere, lo, el problema que pasó, como cerraron las escuelas tan pronto, ¿entiendes? Muchos niños no sabían, y maestros, no sabían cómo trabajar con, con este programa de salón de clase. So, sí queremos, ojalá que regresemos en septiembre para poderle enseñar a los niños y poder trabajando juntos con los niños. ¿Usted me entiende? Sí, lo que pasa es que pronto vamos a empezar a trabajar y no vamos a tener tiempo de estarle enseñando al niño, ayudándole con las tareas. Y pues so, sería mejor una clase así como en vivo, así, para que le vaya entendiendo con la maestra. Sí, le, ¿en, qué, ¿en qué escuela está su niño? En la Hanco. Ah, en la Hanco. Ok. ¿Y cómo se llama su niño? Alberto Godínez. Alberto Godínez. Ok, yo le voy a hablar con la, 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 actually, la maestra que está aquí y ver cómo se pueden dar unas clases a su niño para que cuando ustedes vayan a trabajar, él sepa. ¿Qué grado está su niño? Segundo grado. Segundo grado, ok. Uh, para que cuando ustedes vayan a trabajar, él sepa qué hacer. Sí, porque se nos está haciendo un poco difícil para estarle como explicando. A veces uno y tampoco entiende mucho el inglés y no le puedo explicar bien al niño lo que le tratan las clases, lo que le tratan de, ¿me entiende? De, ¿Sí? de preguntar. Sí, no hay problema, señor. Yo voy a hablar con la maestra que está aquí, se llama Jessica y ver para ver cómo podemos uh, uh, you know, uh, y eso es una idea excelente me parece muy buena muchísimas gracias eh no no hay problema que tengan buen día gracias so Albert in second grade right yes I will talk to you after <laughs> I'm trying to write down the name so, all right thank you um all right Kristen Gallagher oh my God. yes I'm trying hi Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, I just wanted to ask a question about, so when the kids are watching the videos, you know, and it goes through the lessons that you have to watch or, or read about prior to actually doing assignments, mm -hmm. sometimes they come up kind of like not in a good order when you scroll down and say, okay, math. The lessons will be all out of order and you kind of just have to navigate and remember what you already watched and and things such as that in the beginning like the first couple days maybe you used to be able to watch a video and click on instead of where it said turn in it would say um i think just maybe submit or something and you'd click on it and it would gray out the assignment so when you would go back in you would say okay we did these already I noticed that that got taken away and it has been hard. It shouldn't be this hard for a parent, but it's been hard for me when we go back on the next day to be, say to myself like, okay, what did we already do and where are we at? Is there any way that that can be changed back to the way it was where if we preferred to, we could just click on, you know, say submit. And then it just lets us know on our side that we already watched that video or, you know, It has nothing to do with the assignments. The assignments, yeah. that's self-explanatory when you say turn in. Um, but to go reverse, is there any way we could do that? So what I'm thinking might have happened is that the teacher may be posting it as a resource as opposed to an assignment. Um, so maybe reach out right. to your child's teacher and explain to them just what you said. Okay. Um, Because you're right. Once you turn in something, it turns gray, which makes it easier for them, you, the parent, and the student to navigate because you know what you've already done. You know right. what you've already seen. Um, so potentially what that might have happened is that the teacher's not posting it as a resource, which isn't an assignment. So it doesn't have gotcha. to So that's okay. what I think might be happening. I would reach out to your um, teacher, though, to see if what they changed on their end. Okay, um, cool. And then if uh, not, have them reach out to me and I'd be happy to look through it or look um, into it to see what's happening. Okay. I understand you completely. That makes total sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Great. Thank you. Good question. Oh, yes. Sorry. Are you clicking on classwork right away when you enter instead of the stream? No, we're on stream first and then we go. Stream doesn't really have anything but conversation. Right. I was going to say, make sure you click on classwork. And then oh, then yes. Yes. Okay. That's the easy. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. already doing that. Okay. Yep. Thank right. you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for all your work. Everybody's doing oh, wonderful. Thanks. Thank you for your work. We know you're doing a lot of work too at home. Yes, so. you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All 
All right, Anna. Hi. Hello. Anna? Hello, sí. Hello. Hello, señora. Sí, dígame. No, dígame usted. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Ah, no, 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 todo está bien. Creo que fue que lo activé sin querer. Oh, que lo activó otra vez. Ya. Yeah. She already. Sí, sí, sí. She already. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Um, all right. Estrella de los Santos. Señora Estrella, ¿te puede hablar ahora? No. Señora no, Estrella, no. ¿está ahí? ¿Me oye? Sí, señora. ¿Me oye? Sí, sí, la oye. Ay, mire, lo que pasa es que yo no entendí mucho, no entiendo mucho inglés y alguien mencionó algo de... Movie Max, algo así, se llama un programa de los niños. Es que yo he querido que mi hija se pueda iniciar sesión en ese programa porque termina rápido las tareas que le asignan. Ok, ¿Y ¿en, qué, ¿en qué escuela está su niña? Hancock. Hancock, ok, Jessica. ¿Y cómo se llama su niña? Star Carrera. ¿Cómo? Repita otra vez. Star, S-T-A-R, okay. Carrera. Star Carrera. Um, sí, third grade. Tercer grado, señora. Tercero, tercer grado. Tercer grado. Jessica, she want her kid to be in a math program. Uh, I don't know what program do you guys use, uh, Anko, because she said that she finished the assignment very quick. Uh, and maybe not. Do you guys have okay. any online math mm. program? Yeah. Okay, so maybe math, perhaps. Exactly. Well, she's third grade. Yeah. Sí. ¿Perdón? ¿Ella va a estar seguro de que usted me oye? No la escucho. They can no hear us. Anybody can hear me? Yeah. Okay, now I can uh -huh. hear you. Sorry. Ya, yeah, yeah. señora, ella, eh, vamos a estar seguros que ella suscribe a su hija en ese programa de matemáticas. Ah, ok. Lo que pasa es que yo quisiera, o, o algún programa que ella pueda estudiar aparte de lo que le mandan. Ok. En ocasiones siento que son muy pocas las horas que ella está en los estudios. Me gustaría que aprendiera algo más, que pensaran un poquito más. Ella okay. lo hace todo muy rápido, entonces siento que están a las nueve y media o diez de la mañana ya terminó lo que le asignaron y quisiera ver si tenemos algo con que ella puede estar activa eh, mentalmente en la escuela. Sí, está muy bien, señora. So, yo voy a hablar con Jessica, es la muchacha que estará aquí, y le voy a decir que le dé más uh, uh, actividades, ¿Actividades? A, su, a su... Sí, actividades para su niña. Muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias. Entonces, gracias por todo su tiempo. No, gracias. Okay, so we'll catch up after this then. Yeah, no. Um, all right. Liliana Zuniga. Señora Liliana, ¿es tiempo para usted ahora? Sí, hola, buenas tardes. Um, antes de, de hacer mi pregunta, este, yo quiero darle las gracias a ustedes de parte de mi hija y mía por todo el esfuerzo y el trabajo que, que están haciendo sobre las tareas, los trabajos que están mandando a, para los niños, porque están poniendo yeah. muchísimo de su parte. She wanna say thank you to all of you guys for the hard work and everything that the teachers and for doing this uh, today. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Thank you. Gracias, señora. Y mi pregunta es parecida a la que, a la que le hizo la señora anterior que estuvo este, sobre las actividades de los niños, este, mi hija también termina un poco rápido las tareas, pero quisiera ver... Dígame, hay... dígame el nombre de su niña y en qué escuela está. Ella es Valeria Zúñiga y va a la escuela de Waipo. Ok, uh, Lynn, can you take that? Valeria Zúñiga. Valeria. Yeah, and... 
Sa señora, ¿qué grado? Ella va en segundo grado. Uh, grade two. Okay. Yeah. Um, what um, what can so yo, yo lo que quisiera ver es como si hay como que cuentos, lecturas, este, alguna película o algunas actividades que ellos puedan hacer aparte de hacer la tarea. O leer un libro, o no sé si la maestra les pueda leer un libro, o no sé, algo. Para que ella esté en constante movimiento, o le motive más a, a, ver, a ver los trabajos de la escuela. Porque ella hace las tareas, y, y ya después al otro día ya no tiene nada que hacer, o, o aparte de las tareas ella se aburre, ella quiere hacer otras cosas. Sí, hay mucho más trabajo. Yo voy a hablar con la... Maestra que está aquí, Lynn uh, Cruzon, y le voy a, ella le va a dar más trabajo porque hay mucho pro, hay más programas electrónicos que los niños lo pueden hacer en la casa y pueden practicar en todas las materias, matemática, lectura y todas las materias. Ok. Sí, exacto, algo así es como que a mí me gustaría, algo, aparte de la tarea, que ella no se sé, tenga otra actividad. Más actividad. Sí, no hay problema. Muchas okay, gracias, este, Muchísimas gracias. No hay problema. Gracias. Lindy, you got that one? No, I, don't, I have the name written down, but I don't know what you Yeah, mean. but I will tell you later. Yeah. Okay. No. All right, last call. There's no hands being raised as of now. Anyone else? Last call for questions? Any, any, uh, alguna o, otra pregunta o si quieren sugerencias, uh, participen, si quieren participar ahorita o ya vamos a cerrar pronto. So, la última oportunidad para participar, pero de verdad que le quiero dar las gracias por participar en esta discusión y uh, gracias por el trabajo. De, oh, we have somebody else. Yeah, we have somebody else. Are you doing it, Dana? No, why don't you continue since you know what you're doing? I lost my internet connection. I apologize. It completely went down. Uh, <laughs> Mary, Maricela? Señora Maricela, ¿me oyen? Sí, 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 la puedo escuchar muy bien. Señora, mucho, muchas buenas tardes. Um, ¿cómo es el, ¿Dónde está su niño y el nombre de su niño o niña? Uh, ella está en Escuela Whitehall en el cuarto grado y su nombre es Michelle Candia. Y mi pregunta es... Este, Candia, déjame, hold on, Lynn, ¿de you got that? Um, I heard fourth grade, Whitehall. Yeah, Michelle Candia. Michelle Candia. Mm -hmm. okay, ok, señora. Sí, mi pregunta es, ¿la tarea la tienen que entregar día con día o tienen alguna fecha, no sé, fin de semana? O no, todos las los días tareas, tienen que entregar? no, eso es lo que estábamos hablando anteriormente. La, las maestras ponen las tareas los lunes y los jueves, uh -huh. eh, los trabajos que los niños tienen que hacer. Por eso se estaba hablando de un horario para los niños. So, es bueno, hay niños que les gusta hacer todo al mismo tiempo, pero eso no es muy bueno, porque entonces después no tienen nada que hacer para el resto de la semana. So, la, las tareas debe hacerse, por ejemplo, puede hacer matemática el lunes, martes y viernes, y puede hacer ciencia la, los otros dos días, o lectura los otros dos días. So, las tareas usualmente tienen que estar entregársela a las maestras el viernes o el sábado. Porque la cuando okay, comienza la bueno, nueva semana, bien. ya tienen que entregar otra vez las otras tareas. So, usualmente los niños tienen una semana para completar las tareas. Ok, está bien. ¿Y este, qué pasa cuando no entregan las tareas? Este, ¿Les bajan sus puntos? ¿O cuando las entregan tarde? Si las entregan, no, las es una muy buena pregunta. La, las, si las entregan tarde, no importa. Ahora, si no las entregan, uh, la participación sí se toma en cuenta. So, estamos tomando en cuenta y sobre todo si su niña va para, el, para la escuela mediana, eso es muy importante que ella que siga completando las tareas porque lo, esa información se le va a llevar a los principales de la escuela mediana. 
Ok, y otra pregunta. Tengo otra hija que va a terminar la escuela este, media y pasa a high school. ¿Qué pasa con ella si también se atrasa con las tareas y no las entrega a tiempo? Señora, sobre todo si ella va para la escuela de la high school, debería seguir haciendo todas sus tareas porque la transición es un poquito difícil para los niños. So, dígale que no se ponga floja, que siga haciendo sus tareas y aunque las entregue tarde, no hay problema. Ok, está bien. Pues muchísimas gracias y al igual que las otras personas que les agradecieron, igual yo les agradezco a nombre de mis tres hijas por el gran esfuerzo que hacen, por estar al pendiente, por preocuparse en darnos información a nosotros como padres para poder estar al pendiente de ellas. Muchas gracias por todo. Muchas gracias, señora Marisela. She wanna say thank you to all of you guys for the work that, you know, it has been done and for doing this workshop. And she's very thankful for all the teachers. Thank, thank you. you. Um, okay. Um, Kristen Gallagher, do you have another question? Have the floor. Hi. Hello. Sorry, I had one more question and I forgot what it was, but then you talked about getting kicked off the internet and it reminded me. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. To, oh my gosh. For the internet. Had to go down in our house. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So no, I, I my question out. is, <laughs> my question about that is, so the Chromebook, when you were talking about how it connects to the internet, if you see the dinosaur and all that, okay. This happens to me multiple times when we're on the Chromebook. And I do kind of have bad spotty internet and we have a lot of devices going on right now just because of the timing. But it constantly is making me put in the password all over again. Is there any way to let it save it or is that a security thing? Because I know the Chromebooks are amazingly secure, which I must say from a parent's viewpoint, I love that they can do that. <laughs> But I just wanted to ask that if if there's any way to for get it to one of the save new it. Chromebooks? I'm sorry. Did you get a new Chromebook when they recently gave them out, or no? I got one in the beginning. You might want to consider trading it in. I just got recently got a different one. The first one I got was constantly kicking me off the internet, and I had to put my password in. And the most recent one I got, it never happened. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I'll look into that. That happens to me every now and then as well. And if I click on the the internet, the Wi-Fi symbol, right, and then click on the Wi-Fi symbol again, it okay. eventually does come back up as connected. It just takes a little bit of time, but then I don't need sometimes to re-enter. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it requires the password. That's it. it I've noticed sometimes it doesn't, and some, but most of the time it requires the password, and it's really long. <laughs> It's it's a long, 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 for my long. child, really, because he doesn't know it and he doesn't, you know, how to fix Here it. So. Yeah, oh, I like the guy with his hand up. I know him. <laughs> Hi, IT man. <laughs> right. This is my job to speak up. Yeah. So, um, what is, I can send a reset command to the Chromebook first. You can see if that helps it. So, I know so under fancy. each of the wireless, under each wi uh, wireless connection, there should be a little checkbox that says save password. If it's not recording it for some reason, then I'll reset the device and we'll see if that helps it. Um, uh, okay, can you, I just can need you to know what the saves? either the yeah when you go to type in the password to connect to the network, there should be a checkbox there that allows you to save. If yeah, not, okay. I thought you were talking to, about um, somewhere else, but you're no, right. It should just be right there. And if it's not saving it, then it's having trouble writing. I can that try to reset it, it for is. you. Yes. Uh, what uh, on the top of the device should be engraved a number or an identifier of some kind. It is. Do you want the one on the left or the right? Both, actually, together with make. make okay, it it's P. It's P F. Okay. Dash zero six. And then the number on the other side is twenty one. P F O six twenty one. Yes. Give me one moment. Sure. Oh, look right at now. how fancy this is. If, this, <laughs> if it does not work, you can stop by the administration building here and we can swap them. Okay. Continually. So hold on. So PF 06 28, you said? 21. 21. Sorry. Okay. Let's put the one on here. 
There it is. Uh, click on you, and away it goes. Boop, boop. All right, a reset command is going to it. So if it's on, the screen will go black, and it will reset. Okay, sounds so good. So after a simple hardware reset here, if it continues to be an issue and not saved, then we can swap it. Thank no. you so much, sir. And I, I'm sorry, I remember Please. Mr. Long, but I can't think of your name. No, my name's Leo. It's all right. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Long's actually I the other I should know that. My son's name's Liam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks again. You guys yeah. are all amazing. The whole district oh, has been you. amazing. <laughs> Keep it up. That's good to hear. Thanks. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Leo. Thanks, Leo. Welcome. Just showing I am here and listening this entire yes, time. Yes, you are. I was, I was, <laughs> when, I was, when I was in distress, I was wondering, where is he? Help me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sharon Hickson. Sharon, you're muted. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, great. Oh, great. I'm sorry, my audio is really crazy. Okay. Are you on two devices right now? Yes, you know, my husband was on and I was on as well, but now he's logging out. I'm sorry. Hold on. That's okay. <laughs> You're keeping us awake. That's okay. We're, we're here. Uh, it sounds like a sci fi thing, actually. <laughs> Uh, the question I had was similar to the other um, uh, young lady um, in terms of the qual. I guess the computer that we have is is probably my son's um, computer from uh, the high school. And when they called for us to you know work with the kids on the computers, we didn't go get a new one because we had that one. And we it, it just doesn't seem like it's able to. Um, you know, access everything. When the kids get on the computer and mines go to um, Whitehall Elementary, um, they are not able to play the video sometime or access um, a Google Docs so they can edit their documents. So should we go in and also trade in? Or I know my husband talked with possibly Leo a couple of times, but we're still having a couple of the same issues unless we use a more modern computer and I use my computer for work. Dad uses his computer for work, so it's hard to, you know, give up a computer. <laughs> give up a computer. So, what's your suggestion, Leo? Oh, I mean, if it's uh, the only reason that they should like, any assignment that we're given out, like, should function on the Chromebooks, like, universally, right? Like, that's kind of the baseline we have. If anyone's using their own personal computers, that adds a little complexity to it, but. As far as doing Google Docs, watching videos, all that stuff should be accomplished, you know, with the Chromebook. So it's a dropping internet connection, or what's it doing to you? Like, it um, just... It's not dropping internet connection. Um, usually, I have um, you know security, you know, set up through um, Verizon on there, but I've taken down all the securities um, to see how you know we can access everything, and it, it doesn't do it smoothly um, and. Yeah, a lot of times we're having some of the similar issues that a couple other people mentioned about the computer in terms of not finding, you know, not being able to find the proper um, box in the corner to submit the work, not being able to watch the video. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm finding it a little bit more compl complex. And maybe, I don't know if it's because we're used to using the regular computer and then there's so many securities on, on uh, the Chromebooks. I don't know. The Chromebooks themselves are pretty secure, but actually, I guess the more accurate app description is they're very simple. Like, there's not a lot that's going on in them, not a lot of room for, like, basically, they are just a web browser on a computer. That's all they are. Uh, so, like, it's just the, you know, downloading Chrome on your computer and accessing websites, that's basically all the device is. Okay. It doesn't well, have all the, all the frills, <laughs> no antivirus, no nothing. It's a very slim little machine that oh, know, no, is most of the stuff's online anymore. You know, all these different sites for everything, educational videos, educational everything. Like, it's good to just access the sites. For buttons to okay. be missing on the page and stuff, like no submit seems odd. Like if the device, so it's almost like I'd have to see one, like if the Chromebook is not presenting an option, I'd have to check on a different one or on a different computer to see if it is showing there and not on the Chromebook. If it is having mem a memory issue or something wrong with it, then it is possible that it would need to be swapped. Um, Maybe well, when uh, the help desk if she has an issue, like when it's going on, call into the help desk. We right, have so they can call, in, yeah. We, we, we are have, running the help desk out of admin here. 
So, I mean, you say like we have had a few parents swap out uh, devices. I think that number is probably around seven, actually, I think in total. We haven't had too many swap outs, but in a couple of situations, we had some that were having internet issues, but when they pulled in the parking lot back here, they hooked up to the internet just fine here and they were able to browse, log in, do whatever they wanted to do. So it kind of tracked back to whatever the home router was, I guess. And yeah. after that, they had not come back. <laughs> So I'm assuming they managed to work out whatever issue they had. So home routers are a weird uh, curveball for a lot of this because everyone has a different brand, a different internet service provider. There's a lot of different like um, variables that go into it. And even then, sometimes routers start getting picky about traffic they're letting through, traffic they're not letting through, even if it's rebooting them. And then after a while, they stop rebooting properly. I've seen routers where your home devices are working fine but newer devices are not hooking up <laughs> for some reason. Like it's, it's wow. working with the devices it's worked with for two years, but then any new devices aren't hooking up to it anymore. The address leasing scheme well, is all, all I, frozen inside. I'm itself. not quite sure if it's, it's all of any of the, I don't know, but uh, I know like right, yeah. when kids are on, like I'll let them use my computer for school. They have no problem navigating, um, to get everything done but when well, maybe it maybe it would be worth switching out then and just seeing if you get a better result um you know maybe you'll get a better result if you switch out to a different chromebook leo could it be because there are so many devices connected to the one router that it might be that's all much? dependent on the router and it's really hard to say so having mm -hmm. lots of devices on there like each router has its own amount of things it can handle and not just like traffic throughput that they can manage well, I have like four the more expensive the router, the more stuff it can do. Like it's very uh, right. dependent on the router, I guess I should say. So like some companies give out them with their service, like I think Xfinity or whatever, like their X1, they give you a specific router to use, should be fine. When you buy them off the shelf at like a Best Buy, there's varying levels of performance that they have. Okay. Uh, Xfinity, like those X1s are kind of expecting you to have a house of like at least 10 things. So they scale it and they build it accordingly. But you can buy smaller powered ones for the home. So it all depends on what it is and how many things can be on there. A lot of times when you start, everyone starts hooking their phones up and you got a couple of tablets and computers, all of a sudden that number does get up to 10 real fast or 15 or whatever it is. And then the router does have trouble keeping up. But if all the other computers in the household are fine, it's just the Chromebook acting up. That seems more, uh, more odd. That's yeah. pretty much where That's we are in terms because everything else seems to be operating pretty good. Okay. Okay. But so yeah, so we, can, we can always swap it for a different one. We'll check that one back in, make sure there's no da you know, damage to it. We'll just swap it for another one. All right. Uh, I mean, this, I don't so know give if that I've one a, gotten that one in the beginning of the school year in September. So I don't know if there's a difference between. Yeah, you might find a different result. Okay. Well, if, it depends on what, what school, what age the child, right? So the, if it would, if it's issued the beginning of the year, it'd be a high school machine. The high school machines are the same. Um, there's only the one model for them. So they would just be getting a different assignment number. Okay, well, maybe that'll work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, the, the high schoolers were given uh, brand new ones, like the, the Dell's brand new model as of this year. And then except for seniors, we're using the one from uh, last year, last year's model. Hmm. So it all depends. Uh, the seniors only gonna be able to use those for one more year. So all the, you know, nine, 10, 11 have the newer model moving ahead for four years or two years or three years, whatever they're gonna be in. All right, so how do I meet up with you guys? So we have our phone, there, there's a phone number listed um, on our website. There's also, um, like we are at the administration building uh, from 9 a.m. to 2 each day. Okay. So the building's in front of the high school, so we're like right up the road here. Okay. Uh, and then we are in the loading dock area where the buses are. We have the garage door open, we have a desk set up, and we've been checking out <laughs> devices to the elementary family. So not, not in the high school, but in the administration area. The administration hall. building. Yep. Yeah, right With, next uh, to Whitehall. Right next to Whitehall. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we make a beautiful triangle. Uh, yes. So between Whitehall, the high school, and us. Okay. So. We have a sign on Whitehall, Whitehall, Whitehall Road that says, you know, Chromebook uh, pickup. So those direct right back where we are. Okay. So you guys will be there tomorrow? Yep. Nine to two. All uh, right. Thursday, we will, be, will not be here. So uh, you try to make it tomorrow if you can. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to be visiting on site at Gottwalls on Thursday. 
So. You guys need my name or information or just? If you come up and you, you can explain the story, I'll be here nine to two. So as we can say, you're here because you would like to swap the device because that one's having trouble staying on the network properly. Then we can check it in and check out a different one for you. So. All right. We'll you can use Leo to say that, you know, you've spoken to me on Zoom call. <laughs> <laughs> All, <laughs> All right. Come on up. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I probably can. Thank you. All right. Um, Clara, Rico. Hola, buenas tardes. De antemano, pues muchísimas gracias por lo que están haciendo. Mi pregunta es, ¿sí me escuchan? Sí, señora. Es, este, a mi niño, mi niño está en kinder. Bueno, tengo tres niños, uno en kinder, mi niña de segundo y mi niña de quinto. Pero al niño de kinder le mandan las tareas. Ahí hay, hay trabajos que tiene que hacer, pero yo no tengo impresora. Entonces, ¿Qué, escuela, lo que, ¿Qué escuela está su niño, señora? All Fly. All Fly is so much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what, is, yeah. <laughs> what is Clara's uh, child's name? ¿Cómo se llama su niño, señora? Jeffrey Guerrero. Jeffrey Guerrero, ok. Sí, eh, yo empecé a hacer con él los trabajos, los empecé a hacer en una libreta y él quisiera las actividades. No sé si eso le puede ayudar o, o igual yo lo pongo como me pide, que tiene que anotar o tiene que... No, que... cuando tiene actividades, como expliqué anteriormente cuando estaban pasando el video, lo que está haciendo es excelente, señora. Cuando tienen una actividad que es solo como es un papel, es para que los niños lo, lo hagan en la casa. So, una manera de regresárselo a las maestras, usted puede tomar una, cuando él termine ese papel, puede tomar una foto y se lo puede mandar a la maestra. Ok. Eh, y en caso de que no lo hiciera, ¿no hay ningún problema igual? Porque ahí la maestra pone, no, no tiene impresora, no hay problema. Pero no hay igual como él haga la actividad igual. Sí, 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 si sí, necesita impresora y usted no tiene, no se puede hacer. Yo lo que le recomiendo a los estudiantes de mi escuela es que si tienen un, uh, un cuaderno, ¿verdad? Tratar de hacer las actividades de ese cuaderno porque usted no quiere que el niño se retrase. So, uh -huh. tratar de hacer las actividades en el cuaderno y le puede tomar una foto al, al, a las actividades y mandársela a la maestra. Porque sí. yo creo que es importante que el niño se sienta que él está haciendo el trabajo y que la maestra también vea. Lo, lo vea. Lo vea, exactamente. Ok. Sí, sí es lo que él está, bueno, lo, lo estoy poniendo a hacer. Las, las páginas que vienen que para imprimir no esté las hace él en una libreta. Exacto. So, sí. es, es, usted está haciendo perfecto. So, muchas gracias por hacer. No, este muchas trabajo. gracias a ustedes. Yeah. She's also saying thank you to everybody. Ah, oh, de nada. Gracias. <laughs> right. um, Cristina Guavero. Señora Cristina. Yes. Una pregunta. Sí, dígame. ¿Me escucha? Mire, yo, mi hija va en segundo grado. Eh, va en la escuela de Hancock. Mi, se llama ella Bridget Muñoz Guevara. Ok. Yo tengo una pregunta. Ella a veces las preguntas que le ponen no le entiende. Y se le explico en español, pero ella dice que no es. No. Por ejemplo, los consonantes. Se lo explico en español y dice que no es así. Entonces, ¿en ¿cómo puedo ayudarle a ella o a quién le puedo preguntar si estamos correcto lo que estamos haciendo la tarea? Señora, ¿ella está utilizando la clase de Google o está haciendo los paquetes académicos? Eh, las dos cosas. ¿Las dos cosas? Sí. Ya, yeah, este, yo la puedo poner en contacto con Jessica y ella puede ver, pero en la misma... Usted vio cuando estábamos enseñando cómo los niños respondían en, el, en la clase de Google. Sí. Usted puede poner comentarios ahí y la maestra va a ver esos comentarios. So, si usted dice, donde teníamos que dice comentarios privados, sí, sí, usted sí. puede escribir ahí y la maestra va a ver eso. Y usted puede 
uh, y la maestra puede ver si la niña lo está haciendo bien o no. Pero al mismo tiempo yo le voy a decir a Jessica uh, a ver cómo la puede ayudar. Sí, porque... Pero ustedes lo que muchos de mis uh, familias hacen, le escriben a los maestros y dicen, la niña está uh, teniendo dificultad con esto y los maestros usualmente... Este, se comunican con las familias y, y ven cuál es la dificultad que la niña está teniendo. He, he tratado de comunicarme con la maestra, eh, pero no, no me responde. Ok, ¿quién es la maestra, señora? Eh, Karen Camera. Camera. Can you write that, Jessica? And then we'll I have Bridget okay. in Camera's class, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok, está bien, señora. So, yo voy a estar seguro que le llega a la maestra esa información. Sí, porque okay. a veces no, la mera verdad no entiendo yo el inglés. Entonces me, le digo a ella que me lo traduzca en español para que le pueda yo ayudar. Pero ella se pone a llorar porque dice que no es así las preguntas. Entonces quisiera saber cómo, con quién puedo hablar para que ella esté segura de lo que esté haciendo. Sí, aquí estamos, lo estamos oyendo y como le digo, después de esta reunión yo voy a hablar con Jessica. Está bien, señora. Muchas gracias, señora, gracias, señora Cristina, que la tengo Dios una buena tarde. Yo. Gracias. Um, Sierra Fry Riley. Mami, tengo una pregunta. ¿Puedo hablar con la vez de la unión? Oh, de sí. Si... Aquí ya sabes. Ah, oh, there she is. Aquí está la clave. Yes, hello, can you hear me? No. Oh. Yeah. De la unión. Um, I was actually um, listening in about the internet connection for our Chromebooks and Leo said that he could send a reset code to the Chromebook. That is correct. Um, I was hoping that you would be able to do the same for me because we're actually experiencing the same issue. Not a problem. I just need to know the code engraved on top. Okay, so the service tag number? Uh, we can do a service tag or whatever the engraving is. Okay, so the engraving is five two nine four zero three six zero five four. I don't recognize that one. Do the service tag for me if you don't mind. No problem. Um, it's two. F as in Frank, Foxtrot, I guess, J mm -hmm. as in James, X as in Xavier, D as in David, to express. Two F, J, X, D as in dog, two and then E. Correct. Hmm. No, I'm not pulling it in here. So I'll go. And it is one of the older Chromebooks. Yeah, no. It should be. Let's say, if you have one, this is one of the ones, right? So. Yes. What is burned into the top? Okay. Right, let me see. So 25 is on the right. ENS Four. on the um the left. Josiah. So ENS dash. There should be an ENS something though. Josiah. What's next? Josiah. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> sure, no, it's fine. This is cool, Leo. Live tech support. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we've been doing for like two weeks now, three weeks. Um, it's been yeah, but this is a live one. <laughs> yeah. Fine. The computer, Josiah. I need the computer. <laughs> Okay, so 
um, sorry, on the, it's H E H is in Henry, E is in Edward, dash zero four. H E zero four, what's the, what was the number, 28? 25. 25. That's cool. That. 2 F J X K D two. perfect, all right. So, okay. awesome. pop that one, and away it goes. Thank you so much. So it should pick that up next time it's online. Once on the internet for a little bit, it'll pick up that command and do a reset. Awesome. That's Screen all. Block. Okay. As, as normal. You wait a little bit, it will come back. Okay. Your... Awesome. All right. Yeah. No problem at all. Thank you so much. All right. Any more questions? Final call. All right, um, I'm gonna bring up our presentation for just a couple more points. So, hold on. There we go. All right, gotta love technology. All right. So, all right. Lynn, was this you? Lynn, you're muted. Oops. <laughs> I was talking away. <laughs> Help is available to you. Below this slide are resources that provide a diff uh, additional resources and videos that will help you with additional questions that you may have. This slideshow is going to be posted for future reference. If you need assistance, you can also call our wonderful IT help desk. <laughs> they have translators available there. The IT help desk phone number is 610-270-2923. Es muy importante que tomen esta información porque es, este es el, el donde lo pueden ayudar con problemas referidos al Chromebook o la computadora. Este, el número es 610-270-2923 y hay traductores en esa oficina. So ustedes pueden llamar a ese teléfono y lo pueden ayudar a con problemas relacionados al Chromebook o la computadora. Thank you so much for attending this workshop and sharing your questions and your concerns and being willing to take your time to learn more about um, this digi digital world that we're living in. We really appreciate you being here. Um, we are here for you, so please reach out if you need anything. Again, this, um, this slideshow will be posted hopefully at each elementary school on their websites um, and the video hopefully as well. Um, again, below are various videos, different schools, different teachers, different support people have made various videos um, trying to help you with all the things that we've actually talked about today. So we hope you'll utilize them. Um, again, please reach out um, and we thank you for being here. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. Este, estamos muy agradecidos y acuérdense de algo. Esto, esto es algo que va a continuar. Aunque abran las escuelas en septiembre, tenemos que aprender más cómo usar la tecnología porque esto es algo que se va a necesitar en el futuro para nuestros sí, para nuestro niños y para nosotros mismos. Muchas gracias. Y que pasen una buena tarde. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, uh, can everyone. You, can you guys stay in? Or yes. Unfortunately, when the meeting is over, Oh, um, it's over. <laughs> it's going to just. Can somebody done. send a link so. that we can meet? Sure. If anybody wants to just crack, crack a meet, crack a Google Meet open and just shoot everyone's email in there and just gather together afterwards. Fine. Okay. Thank you but so much, Leo. Thanks, Leo. You guys Thank have a great you. day, and I'm on my next one at five o'clock. So. Okay, have fun. So <laughs> <See ya. laughs> it's time for Who me to drive home and then run it from there. So. Oh, okay, that's fine. Good job, everybody. That okay. went very smooth. Thank, Thank you. you. Are the best. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Jessica, can you send a link? To yep, I will send it right now. Thank you. All right, thanks again, Leo. All right, yep, bye. bye.